In our previous videos, we had seen how to make an RC car running on an Arduino Nano and NRF24 F01 Plus module. And we were using the MSP430 launchpad and again an NRF module in the controller. We had also seen some outdoor action of our car as well. However, our controller was very messy and it was really hard to handle and control. That's why I decided to design and order a PCB that I could mount on the MSP430 launchpad. In order to design the PCB, there were several tools to be used such as EasyEDA and KiCad. Since EasyEDA seemed kind of easier for me, I decided to use it and design my board. First, I draw the schematics and made the connections between the components. Here I used built-in components and I also created my own symbols and footprints such as the MSP430G2ET launchpad to be used in the schematics and later on to the PCB design. After using Convert Schematic to PCB option, I set the places for the footprints and used AutoRoute for creating the traces. And then I optimized those connections in order to minimize bias and also try to design it in a way that I could do the soldering easier. Later on, after checking that everything seems okay on both top and bottom layers of the PCB, I generated the Gerber file to use for fabrication. After downloading the Gerber file, I went to PCBWay's website who have been the sponsor of this project. After a couple of selections, such as the quantity and the board dimensions, I was able to upload the Gerber file that I created, and I could weave the board that I designed in the weaver and finish the order. After a couple of days, my package arrived and it was really exciting to open it and see my design realized as a PCB. I had received five boards, which were really in high quality, as you can see here. Since this was my first PCB design, I saw that I could add some more indications on the silk screen, such as the port numbers for the launchpad or the pin names for the NRF module. However, these were not important since it would not affect the operation of the board. Here you can see the components that we need to solder on our PCB in order to use it as a wireless controller. Here on the left side, we are going to be soldering 5 pin male header, which is 90 degrees, in order to mount our Two axis analog joystick and we have 10 pin male headers that are going to be soldered on our board this is for mounting our shield on our launch pad and here we are missing a two pin male headers you shouldn't miss those those are going to be soldered on our board as well then we have our potentiometers one of them will be soldered here second one here and we have this optional 4 pin dip switch you can solder it or leave it as it is and then we have our nrf24 module you can solder it directly on the board but i don't recommend it so that's why you will use two 4 pin female headers in order to mount our nrf24 module on them and finally we have our electrolytic capacitor it's either 10 microfarads or 100 microfarads, I used 100 microfarads to be soldered on our board. In this section, you can see my terrible soldering skills. Don't worry, I won't include the whole session. It will really take a long time, even in time-lapse mode. Here you can see the board after soldering. Now we need to mount the two necessary components, the analog joystick and the NRF24 L01 Plus module. It's really good to have them inserted on the female headers instead of soldering on the board, since if any of these components is broken or malfunctioning, you can easily insert a new one. Now we can mount our RC shield to the female pin header side of the MSP430 launchpad as seen in this picture. And after mounting it on the launchpad, we can connect it to a power bank and control our RC car. You can see our car in action as we are controlling it with our shield. Here you will see that since I broke the servo on the back of the car, I can only demonstrate the servo movement at the front side of it. I had used this one to mount an onboard camera. You can see it in the RC car and cats video. This was the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. Thank you for watching. Bye.